Data science is the sexiest job of the 21st century. How many of us are tired of hearing that? I'm not. I love it. I love the job security it gives me. Uh, I love the boost of ego it gives me every morning when I wake up. It feels really nice. But what does it mean to be a data scientist? We have a lot of different roles at a lot of different companies. Uh, pe people at Google are building the new algorithms the rest of us use every day. Some of us are just uh, piping something into scikit-learn and hitting run on our Jupyter notebooks. Some of us might be deploying Kubernetes clusters using AWS. The wide variety of data science jobs in America and across the world uh, is why we decided to put together data science pioneers. Uh, this is a documentary uh, that Data IQ decided to begin uh, constructing more than a year ago to investigate the different types of data science jobs across America and the world and how data scientists are making an effect um, everywhere. So without further ado, I'm going to fire off this trailer. I want to use my artificial intelligence to help humans live a better life. Data science is truly revolutionizing the world. Every engineer will have some exposure to data science, and therefore every consumer in the world will be interacting with something that is to do with machine learning. The potential to unlock so much information, to unlock so many new ways of exploring our world and doing better for our world. There's been a lot of issues where data science goes wrong. Facebook is a great example, the Cambridge Analytica stuff. We have revolutionized digital marketing, but what did the consumer get from that? You sort of only see the news that your friends and the people that you talk to a lot are interested in. Everyone just gets exactly their own echo chamber. And those echo chambers just get smarter and smarter and they just keep serving us the same information. What are the blind spots? What are the big areas that we don't know? That's our role as data scientists to ask those questions. We had just started scratching the surface of AI. People will realize that a lot of what has been promised is not yet possible. Computers have a hard time reasoning about the events. They have a hard time telling what would have happened if something would have been different. If you're driving towards a cliff, you know if you drive over it, you're going to fall. And AI doesn't know that. It actually has to experience falling off this cliff. Whomever gets ahead in this race will definitely make better decisions. And whomever can make better decisions will always win. When there's $50 million at play, you've got to make sure to take the right decision at the right time. At last, with the big data era, social science finally found its telescope. We're suddenly able to look across huge geographical widths, huge depths of time. This is really what makes a huge impact on our business. And it was there all along, but we couldn't see it. We no longer have to rely on our personal experience. We can collect that collectively. What are the frontiers? Thank you very much. Uh, to continue the conversation, clap. Please clap, Jeb Bush. To continue the conversation, uh, you can come by our booth, 1135, or right in the middle, or you can uh, log on to datascience.movie to schedule a private screening or find out where one is coming to your area. Thank you very much. <laughs>